this video, let's take a look at solving for x using the distributive property. So in this particular problem, or these series of problems, we're going to do a lot of combining like terms, a lot of multiplying, and just putting numbers together. Uh, so in this particular case, number 15 is the first one, and I see two outside of that parentheses. I know I'm going to have to give the two to each of those pieces, then combine like terms over here, then I've got x's over there, then I'm going to move things around. I'm going to show number 15, I'm going to have you work on number 17. Okay, number 17 has a whole bunch of minus signs that you got to make sure that you distribute to everything that's going on in order to get that right. So let's take a look at what you have here. So if I'm going to solve for x using the distributive property, here is number 15 written down. I'm just going to take the 2 and give it to each piece. 2 times 4x is 8x. 2 times negative 3 or minus 3 is minus 6. Minus 8, which is already there, and then I've got 4 plus 2x on the other side. Then now I'm looking to combine terms. Okay, these are just numbers. I can put those together. So I've got 8x minus 14 equals 4 plus 2x. Put the letters on one side, the numbers on the other. So I'm going to subtract 2x over here, subtract 2x over here. And now I've got 6x minus 14 equals 4. Add 14 to both sides. 6x equals 18. And as soon as I have 6x equaling 18, now I need to uh, make sure that I do the division and then I divide both sides by 6, and then 18 divided by 6 is 3, so x equals 3. Now the beauty of doing these is that you could actually take your answer and you could plug it back in. Wherever you see the letter x in the original problem, I can put a 3 right there, I can put a 3 right there, and I can see if it works out. So 4 times 3 is 12, 12 take away 3 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 18 take away 8 is 10. So this whole side is equal to 10 when I plug in the 3. This side, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10. So does 10 equal 10? Absolutely. So I know that that is the right answer, and woohoo, I got that one correct. Okay, now what I'd like you to do is look at number 17 and see if you can do all the distributive properties for number 17 and see if you get the right answer. Now, I do have it all worked out, but I'm not going to show you that quite yet. I'd like you to pause the video at this point, work through it, and then I'll come back and show you my steps. Okay, welcome back. Here's what I have. I distributed the negative 1 to each piece, making this negative 1 and minus 7x. Distribute a minus 6. A negative times a negative is a positive 42. And then a minus times a minus is a positive 6x equals 36. Now you're just combining like terms. Those two are like terms, and these are something different. Those are numbers. Those get combined. So when I combine the numbers, I get 41. When I combine the letters, I get negative x. And then subtract 41 on both sides. And I get negative x equals negative 5. Well, if negative x equals negative 5, then positive x equals positive 5. Basically, what you're doing here is you're dividing by negative 1 to get rid of it. And you get x equals 5. Again, you can check that. Take the 5, put it here. Take the 5, put it there. And make sure that it works out. So three times, or 7 times 5 is 35, plus 1 is negative 36. Because of this negative sign makes that there. And then minus 6 times, well, I put a 5 here. That would be negative 12. And now I've got... And negative um, times a negative, that's 72. So I've got negative 36 plus 72. And that, of course, is positive 36. So it does work right. And the answer is positive 5. So hopefully uh, you're feeling better about distributive property and can work through those. Good luck.